welcome back to the Midnight Who Show. Today we're going to be reviewing the next DC anime and movie, Batman Soul of the Dragon. So the movie is set in the 1970s and it sees Batman team up with Shiva, Richard Dragon, and the Bronze Tiger to deal with the Cobra Cult. Now, I really enjoyed this movie. I really thought it was very, you know, well animated like all the other DC animated movies. But I think how they animated the martial arts fighting scenes was really well done. They, they were very fluid. They didn't feel stiff. I think they nailed how they would feel in an action film in the 70s. Which is also one thing really nice about this movie. It really did feel like a 70s action film. The animators nailed this feeling of a 1970s action film and it is definitely one of my favorite parts of this movie. Another great thing that makes it really feel like a 70s movie is the music they composed for this movie. It's very well composed and it really adds a lot to these fighting scenes. They did a really good job with that. I'd say the voice performance in this movie is really good. Now two of these, Ben Tiger and Shiva, they have played these characters in other DC mediums so it's really great that they brought them back for these roles and they were just great. The actor who played Batman was really good and Richard Dragon was a great addition to this cast. But that's also a highlight of this movie. It didn't really just focus on Batman. It focused a lot on Bruce Wayne, which I really like. You get to see him more outside the cowl and you also see him training at Nana Parbet. I think they focused on that. And unlike most movies where you think, why is Batman in this movie? This movie, he actually makes sense that he's in here. He trained with these three DC heroes, and it really shows why they're now they can work together. I'll also say I really enjoyed this movie for focusing on these lesser used DC characters. Because DC has so many characters that don't really get the light of the you know, they don't really get much spotlight. But I'm really glad this movie did it with Richard Dragon, Lady Shiva, and Bronze Tiger. I'm really glad they added them to this cast. Now I would say the Cobra Cult was a great addition to this movie. You know, I will say they had some really good enemies under their wing, kind of the kind of the Snake Man and King Snake. That was pretty cool. I will say the only part of this movie that I didn't quite like was the ending, but it was still a good ending. But I think they kind of kind of had to rush through it a little bit, just a little bit. But I will say the ending of this film opens a lot for a sequel, and I really hope they do it because I like this cast. These are great characters, and I think a sequel could be really exciting. But yeah, Batman Soul of the Dragon is a great addition to the DC anime and movies. I would really recommend it if you haven't watched it yet. Go pick it up. It's a great movie. It has some really great fighting scenes. And if you're a fan of the 70s action films, this is, this is definitely really good. Also, can I say, that cover is awesome. Such a cool cover. And yes, that's Wonder Woman on the Spine. I know, I know, it's kind of interesting Batman film, Wonder Woman on the Spine. I think, I think they designed, they probably designed it because I think it's going to create this whole DC Comics animated movie universe or something it's going to say. Or DC Universe movie, something like that. I think they just designed it before they did the spines. That's it for tonight. If you've seen this movie, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.